Okay, going on to the next example. This is, uh, the previous one was 3A, this was 3B. And again, giving you some background, we have the function, but now we're looking at the inverse of the function, in which it's the inverse of the natural log of x. Again, if you put that in the calculator, you end up with uh, these points, where it's sort of shifted around, and I think I can do it this way here too, from something like that, oh, it works out very well, to now the inverse of that, where it looks something like this. Now, what are we doing? They're asking us to move it to this point. So what kind of shift will that be? Well, again, we said this was our sort of a modified slope intercept, y equals mx plus b. So where this out here is our y-intercept. So we're going to shift this diagram up how many? Well, again, it's right there now because our y, our y-intercept is 0, which is right here. So we're going to shift this up 1. So as we shift it up one unit, we're going to just go like so. Shift that up one unit. And now that's what this is. We've shifted that up one unit. Now, we didn't list the domain yet, but let's do so. I'll put it in red. Our domain, again, it never quite reaches zero here. So this is going to be zero, but it doesn't reach zero and goes to positive infinity. Well, our range, again, this goes all the way down, or in a sense coming up from negative infinity for our y units, all the way up to positive infinity. Now, it's the same for this one and this one. Now, how about this? Let's get it back to where it was originally by shifting it down. There we go. Now, notice we have here x minus h. I guess something like that or whatever. So what is our value for h? Notice it's inside the parenthesis. Well, our original h then, in order to end up this, had to be a positive 2. So we're going to shift this over from this position to a positive 2. So there it is at 0. So there's 1, and then there's 2. Now, notice what's shifting here. We also have now a new vertical asymptote. Over here it was a uh, x equals 0, which is the equation for your actual y-axis. Now it becomes x equals 2, our new vertical asymptote. And what would be the domain and range of this? Well, the domain now is shifted because it never quite reaches 2 and goes to positive infinity, while the, rema the range remains the same, negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, well, as a little summary of the graphing, I thought that was uh, useful and hopefully helpful for you.